Hello to all our live streamers out there. It's two o'clock on a Saturday afternoon and we're here to watch the Exeter Chiefs women play Wasps in their pre-season friendly. I'm Poppy Leach and this is Marin Doidge, we're your commentators for today. We're not very good, so <laughs> sorry if we get anything wrong, um, but hopefully it's going to be a good fixture against the two competitive sides. And thankfully the weather has brightened up a bit. Yeah. The weather this morning wasn't looking so great, so beautiful day for it. Pitch is looking good. Groundsmen work really hard here at Sandy Park. So um, big thank you to them for making sure the pitch is in the way that it is, ready for the start of the season. Off we go, Patricia Garcia starting us off today. Great contest in the air already from Janine Duncan, one of our USA players. Chiefs have got the ball back, what a start. Great work at eight there by, by Kate Zachary, playing nine. Picking off a short side, great work from Abby Fleming, one of our homegrown players, playing number four today. Big carry up the centre, but good defence from Wasp, send Bimba back. Looks Great like work by Flo, who's stepping in at 10 today. Big carry from Linda. She's one of the Netherlands players, captain of the Netherlands side. Strong carry, good defence though from Wasp, bringing her down. Takes a few players to bring Linda down. Big steaming carry from Bimba up the centre. Chiefs are looking to impose themselves now in the 22. Great float, float pass from Gabby Cantorna. Great take from Janine as well. Chiefs are now deep into the 22. As many of you will know, Chiefs like to play an up front battle in the 22. That's an unfortunate drop from Gabby Cantorna. She's got great hands. I'm sure that was just a small error. Looks like we're going to see Wasps first scrum of the game. Not used to that now, are we, Merrin? So it'll be interesting to see how the packs get along having not scrummaged because of COVID for the last, last season. For those that aren't aware, last year, because of COVID, we played slightly different rules. So weren't many scrums last year. I think we were averaging about three to five a game. So yeah. I'd imagine there'll be a lot more this year. Mainly free kicks last year, wasn't it? So yeah. it's be interesting to see how Wasp deal with this out of their 22. Big shove on from Wasps, okay, they've managed to retain their ball. Oh. But Maisie Allen, one of our new players this year from Gloucester Hartbury, seems to have turned it over. Great work from the base there. Now they'll be sure to go straight back into their shape, try and get themselves in this try zone. Great pick up from Canico. Looks like Kate Zachary, our captain's down at the moment. Hopefully that's nothing bad. She's getting to her feet. Oh, no, it's Patricia Garcia. Sorry, Kate, if that offended you. <laughs> <laughs> Kate's probably thinking, I didn't go down. <laughs> I'm solid. Scrums are going to really change the game, especially for our front row. They're going to be put under a lot more fatigue now, so it'll be interesting to see whether that change each team's tactical awareness of the game with more scrums, more fatigue, more stoppages. Exciting to see what Wasps are going to do off this scrum. Big shove on and Wasps have managed to keep the ball this time. Big carry from Harriet Miller-Mills has taken them up the short side. Looks like Wasps are going to start their exit plan. Need to get themselves out of this area of the pitch. Oh. Ball was out, so that's a lot of pressure on Claudia McDonald, but she's done well. Great take from Liv Jones. She seems Into to the centre field, but to Janine Duncan. It's all to play for now in the middle of the pitch. Interesting kick goes in. No one's in the backfield managing the space. Liv does well to gather the ball Wasps there. Wasps really putting Chiefs under some pressure now with some great pressure at the breakdown from Abby Dow. Seems to have turned the ball over. 
Wasps attacking now hard into the Exeter Chiefs 22. We know how direct they are as a squad, so it'll be interesting to see how they um, fare well in this, in this area of the pitch to start with. Great flat pass down to the winger there. Looks like Wasps have managed to keep hold of the ball after a, a float pass to the edge. This is the style of uh, rugby that we see from Wasps a lot. We saw it a lot last year. This direct punching rugby is really effective for them. They've got lots of strong carriers, so it's definitely something that they've, they look to use a lot throughout the, um, throughout the, the game. Great contest in the air there by Janine and Abby Dow. So it looks like it's going to be Chief Scrum just on the five. Tricky position to be in, but no doubt Chief's front row of Clara Nilsson, Sachi and Bimba are going to put Wasps under some threat. Looks like Patricia Garcia is just having some treatment. This gives the, the teams a good opportunity to regather themselves after the first six minutes of play. Lots of rugby already been played, lots of scrums already, which is great to see. What kind of thing do you reckon the Chiefs are talking about, Marin? What do you reckon they're saying? Probably their defence. I think as a team, we're a very defence team, aren't we? So yeah. probably um, getting them some things right again. Um, talking about what Wasp might do from here if they'd managed to turn the ball over. But no doubt, like you said, our front row will do well to get this ball back for us. The front row will be chomping at the bit now to get down into the scrum and put Wasp under some pressure. Really difficult position to be in terms of territory. So really interesting to see how Chiefs fare at this scrum time. Looks like Patricia Garcia is now up on our feet, which is good to see. Um, just received some medical attention there by our medics at Chiefs. Big pressure from Wasps, putting Chiefs under a lot of pressure, but it's a penalty to the Chiefs. Okay, looks like boring in on the right-hand side. Time for Chiefs to relieve some pressure through a kick, I'd imagine, looking to get, get back into that kind of half um, halfway area. Gabby Cantona lining up for the kick. She's got a big boot on her. Not probably as far as she wanted to go, but relieving any bit of pressure is really important when we're at that area of the pitch Chiefs have opted for a five man line from the looks of it be interesting to see what they do from this we've got Linda out there in the, in the field and we've also got all of our backs lining up one in the ball great take from Abby Fleming and Kate's on the charge supported by Linda and Clara Nilsson and Gabby Cantona Looks like Chiefs are getting themselves set, ready for an exit, putting the pressure back on Wasps. I must say the girls must be loving this crowd. I don't know if you guys can hear it on the live stream, but the chop is definitely playing, isn't mm. it? <laughs> Big chase from the Chiefs. Oh. Unfortunate drop from Claudia McDonald there. Great effort to get in the air, but it looks like it's going to be a Chiefs scrum just off the halfway line. Chiefs will be happy with that result. I think they've said there's 4,000 tickets sold today, so there definitely is a big crowd here for the, for, the, for the players. I know Wasps will definitely enjoy having a crowd like this as well. 100%. Really spur them on. Wasps have been dominant so far in the scrum era with an unfortunate penalty down in our end. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here at this scrum time. Big shover from the from the Chiefs side. Kate Zaku with a strong pick, supported by Janine and Ebony Jeffries at the breakdown. A great counter up from Wasps means they've picked up the ball and they're putting loads of pressure on the Chiefs scramble defence here. Great work by Kate there, picking up some lost ball. But it will be Wasps ball.
both teams would have had quite different preparation going into this game with Wasps having a lot of GB7 skulls on their side. So I think they've probably had quite a, a short, sharp, intense preseason waiting for some of those players to come back. Similar kind of situation for Chiefs waiting for their internationals to come back over. You know, our, our Canadians are away at the moment, but it's great to have our USA players here. So it's definitely a good opportunity for both teams to get the cobwebs out of the way and get the ball rolling ready for the, for the league to start in two weeks. And also to get some new, new players in the mixer. Yeah, 100%. Great scrum from, from Chiefs, but Wasps have managed to retain possession. Looks like that was one of uh, Wasps' training field runs off a of scrum, but didn't quite go to hand. Um, looks like it's going to be a Chiefs scrum now. How many scrums is that already? Maybe, cool. I don't know, six or something already? <laughs> it's definitely going to be a different kind of game out there uh, for the front row, front five especially. The front row would have been asking for him back, but now they might not be so keen. <laughs> Two scrums on the bounce, as the front row out there will know, is not an easy job. So, But I'm sure after a year of no scrummaging, they're absolutely um, buzzing to have some more scrums involved in the game. Interesting set from Chiefs here. Looks like they want to maybe potentially exploit the wide channels. Looks like, looks like they've got a lot of running threats. This is good territory to bring in maybe the uh, perhaps... A new style where, with the new rule, the 50-22 rule, um, which obviously it has to be kicked from your own half and bouncing the 22 um, to get your own line out in that 22 area. So a, a scrum in that area is going yeah, to be quite difficult. interesting this year. Yeah, definitely going to be diff especially difficult to defend. Unfortunate there for, for, for the Chiefs side, but great kick from Wasps to earn themselves some, some good territory down in R22. It's also interesting now because driving lineups are back in. Players yeah. previously, um, teams previously weren't able to drive in their lineouts unless you were in the 22. So obviously we're in the 22 now, so it'd be interesting to see what off suit, but previously we weren't actually allowed to due to COVID. So that's also going to change the part of the game. Loose ball picked up there by Patricia Garcia. Now Chiefs will look to probably set up an exit from here. Great clear out from Abby Fleming there, making sure that we keep ball there in this really important area of the pitch. Gives us the opportunity now to set up our, set up our exit plan. Looked like that was a drop ball from, from Wasp, but ref says it seems like it went backwards, so it's play on, it's a free for all. Great chop tackle from Sachi coming in there. Oh, loose ball again, picked up by Kaneko. Kaneko's on the run, off she goes. This is Kaneko's first outing in the Chief Cert, and I'm sure she's going to be really, really impressive for, for the remainder of the season. Great line there by Ebony Jeffries. Took down in the centre there by Rome, but Rose That's Burnfield. one of field. two lines, isn't it, Marin? That crash oh, yeah. line likes to go right through the centre of teams. Oh, ref nearly blew his whistle then. Chiefs were lucky. Loads of space out on the edge. Caitlin, this is one of our new players. Really quick player. She's in the Welsh setup. Oh, great crunching tackle though, but great to see Caitlin getting some time on the ball. Caitlin's only 18, I think, isn't she, Mary? Yeah. One of our young guns in the side, compared to some of our old lasses in there who know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they weren't a mere though. <laughs> like a tough scrum interesting little move here from Wasps looks like they're trying to hold defenders um, great fight there by Gabby to keep keep hold of that Wasp player big float ball coming in Janine puts Abby Dow under loads of pressure um, 
Abby Dow's lethal in that area. Give her any space and she'll, she'll get points. So important that we shut her down. Great pickup by Ebony Jeffries there. Great speed to clear out there from Clara Nilsson, who makes sure we can retain ball there after a good pickup from, from Ebony She's Jeffries. She's under a lot of pressure here by Wasps. Good turnover defense from them. Looks like it's going to be another scrum. <laughs> <laughs> Probably going to see a lot more scrums as well in this fixture. First one of the year, first one of the season. There's going to be some tie borders out there already, so probably going to see a few more drop balls than normal um, so gives the opportunity for the teams to really get back stuck into scrummaging after that time off so um, but great start so far to the game isn't it Mary? yeah great contest for those that don't know we're playing four 20 minute blocks today so it gives both wasps and chiefs the opportunity to run and really put a hand up for selection and i think wasps has got a fair few as well so it'd be really just interesting to see the depth that both squads have um, throughout the course of the day Great leg drive and the contact there from the cent from the centre pairing at Chiefs, but Wasps have done well to keep hold of the ball. Great little dink in behind from Claudia McDonald. She's just picked off that our wing is a little bit flat, so she's That's really found kick, some yeah. space in there. And they've got a pretty good chase. Now we've got a play out of our own 22, which Caitlin Caitlin looks good out there. Ross here with three in the backfield. Looks like they're, they're trying to manage that, that kick game that we know that Chiefs have got, don't we? So good kick coming in from Flo. Shame we haven't got as hard a chase as we could have there. But great crunching tackle great from Sachi on Harriet Miller-Mills, who's known for her carrying threat. Unfortunate penalty there. I think it's not rolling away, but great start. Um, great start with a good kick chase and a good tackle from Sachi. Looks like Wasp are just trying to make a decision as to what they do here. I can imagine they'll go for touch. Um. Careful not to kick it into our new uh, stand being <laughs> built to welcome back all, all those uh, thousands of fans that can't wait to support both the, Ch the Chiefs men's and women's side, which is a really exciting prospect um, for the club. Do you know how many how many extra people there? It's about five thousand, isn't it? Extra now because of that stand. I wouldn't like to say, but it, it's looking. I think pretty busy I already, think it's isn't 5, it? Five thousand, yeah. And I think they're gonna. The plan is to have pubs and restaurants and things underneath. So they yeah. Can, the rows the rows there that um, will house stood standing people. Yeah. Um, that will really boost the tickets by a long way. Oh, I can gosh, imagine. Yeah. Looks like someone's down from the chief side. Um, looks like it's Caitlin on the far side. Doc is running on, so hopefully it's just a case of having a looked after, uh, look check, checked over. But it gives the opportunity for the players to have another breather, get themselves regathered. With I think probably only a few minutes left to go of this first 20-minute block. And Wasps here will look to talk tactics as they enter our 22. What would you do here, Mary? Is your line out? What would you hope the forwards do? Drive. Drive over. <laughs> Easy job for you. Oh yeah. Especially what our forwards do. <laughs> to be fair, this both sides have a really good driving line out. That's definitely one thing that we played in last year to finish. Looks like the crowd are enjoying it. Drinks are flowing in their big cheese pint cups. It's great to see so many people here. I think that's one of the, the great things about having this extra cheese side and being able to um, have so many people in the stadium come and support the women's team, which is so great to see. The rugby support down in the southwest is just phenomenal. Oh yeah. When we when we played last year, we had one um, one game of spectators, and it was so fantastic. Sale, sale at home, wasn't it? It was yeah. great, great atmosphere yeah, and really good atmosphere. It's lovely to have such great support from the Chiefs community. Well, Wasps did fumble it at the line out, which has taken some pressure off of the Chiefs, but they need to get together a good exit plan here to make sure that we put the pressure back on Wasps. Crunching tackle from from Wasps putting Chiefs under a little bit of pressure to get their, to get their exit plan in. Wasps are really getting off the line and making these crunching hits, making it hard for Chiefs to exit. 
You can see Chiefs uh, Wasps now dropping into the backfield. Okay, they've got four in the backfield, maybe on, on to play in the next couple of phases if they continue to do that. But great pressure from Caitlin. Wasps do well to keep the ball and, and get it away with some really good offloads that have gone to hand. Punching up through the centre. Great little counter up from Abby. Gives us a little bit of time to get set in defence. Unlucky there. Wasps have found some space in behind. Great option from Wasps, but unlucky Liv Jones. A lot just of pressure to clear this ball from their own try line. Wasps are giving up a fight in defence. It's another great tackle from... from Side. I think it's really important that Marin, you'll probably agree in these areas just to stay nice and calm. Yep, definitely. Don't need to rush our process. It'd be the same for both sides. Don't need to rush it. Think about the process. Make sure we've got the right people in place. They know their job, they know their role. Especially when it comes to kick chase and kick battle. Well, the Chiefs will be pleased with that. A little bit of relief and pressure. Looks like maybe it's must have been the last couple of minutes of play before they then get to have their first break of the four 20 minute blocks. I think that's the ref calling time. So that's the first 20 minute block gone. Marin, what are your initial thoughts? Well, I think it's been a great fight by both teams. Um, they've really fronted up and put in a lot of good performance um, across the board. Mm. What do you think? I think Wasps are looking fierce in defence. You know, you can see they're obviously looking for those double shots. They're putting the, the, the Chiefs carriers under a lot of pressure. Yeah. Chiefs are riding it well and it looks like they're kind of slowly getting to the groove of things. But just about making sure we get that kick chase right. You know, we, we speak about it a lot in training about, you know, working hard to get your 100% pace when you're in that chase. And I think that's something that Susie and Tom will probably want them to, to push yeah. on to the next 20 minutes. Making the most of these exits, yeah, getting out of our red zone. Great to see scrums though. Many scrums already. <laughs> We're probably gonna have about 30 or 40 or something ridiculous in this game, but really great to see them back.
ready for our second 20 minute block. Trying to see if there's been any changes. Uh, doesn't look like there's any changes to the, to the Chiefs side. Um, a couple on for Wasps, I think. Yeah, it looks like they've made a few replacements for Wasps. I do apologize, we're not great with the Wasp name. We haven't actually got their, their team sheet um, with all their names on it, so we'll do our best. But we do apologize. Great contest at the line out to start from Chiefs. Wasps still do have the ball though, um, and they're really, really in a prime position to put Chiefs under some pressure going into their 22. Chiefs are going to need to get off the line here to make some crunching tackles, especially with someone like Maud carrying. Merrin will know her from England camp. She's a big, strong carrier, isn't she, Merrin? Great um, carrier. Needs two to take her down, otherwise she's she's going to make meters every time. A massive threat on the ball, so Wasps will need to shut her down. Uh, Wasps will need to shut her. Chiefs will need to shut her down very quickly. <laughs> We're really fortunate to have a new forwards, coaching, uh, forwards coach working with us at the moment called Tommy Hayes. As for some of you all know, he's a Chiefs legend, isn't he, Marin? So oh, yeah. great to have him back. And he, he's a real defence guru. So we're hoping to see some of that work we've done in pre-season coming into, coming into the game now. Looks like we turned the ball over, so that's a good start. Um, and now hopefully Chiefs have kind of worked their structures together to get our exit place and plan. You'll see the Chiefs have recognised that they've got that kind of drop into the backfield and it's on to play it. Seeing Janine in full force, now off she goes. Great carry and support from, from Liv Jones, who's come over from Loughborough to join, to join the Chiefs family. Great start from her. Chiefs now entering our Another half. big crunching hit. Oh my gosh, Marion, that's a big one. Oh, unfortunate there. Great counter up from Wasps. Ro Burnfield known for being a nausea that breaks down, always looking to, to put the nines under loads of pressure with a counter up. But it's Chiefs ball, um, I think, that was coming at the side, wasn't it, Marin? I think? Yeah, it looks like Gabby's going to clear to touch and hopefully get us a line out up there in our own 22. I think it's definitely important with a game against a team like Wasps to keep the tempo really high. Um, we don't want to slow anything down, whether that be at the breakdown, whether that be at scrum time or penalty time. Keep them working, keep them moving. And we want to try and play a fast tempo game, don't we, Mary? Which, which puts teams under threat. So it's great to see that Chiefs are trying to enforce that already. It's nice to see them move the ball wide there and give, give um, Liv and Janine a run out in the... Uh... There, there we see Patricia <laughs> Garcia's crazy offload game. Known for her flair from the sevens, um, seven series that she did for, for years. I think Flo needed a little bit of support there, but she's done well to still my Oh, unfortunate. Straight off her feet at the breakdown from, from Kate there. I think she was just trying to add value in a latch, and that's an unfortunate call, but um, good start from the Chiefs, really pushing Wasps into their own, uh, into their own half. So Difficult position to be in now, isn't it, Marin here? Do we go for corner? It's a long kick. Kick to play. It's looking Looks nice. Like she's going for touch. Yeah, going for touch. Kicking it right into the stands. Nice. Great work from Alex there. Yeah. <laughs> Great work from our, from our physio, Alex. Great hands always. Looks like it's going to be a wasp line out just off the halfway line. Um. I think wasps have got some new faces joining them this year from, from what I've seen online. Um, but it looks like they've, they've got a lot of returning players in this squad today. Good contest from Chiefs, but and again, Wasp have managed to keep hold of the ball. Oh, un unfortunate drop there from Roe Burnfield. Another scrum. <laughs> <laughs> really, we should have got someone that's really knowledgeable about scrums to do this, Marin, because yeah. there's going to be so many. Sadly, me and Marin. As a fullback, I haven't got much to bring to the table and on scrums. A, well, I suppose now a second row, I should know more, but <laughs> <laughs> all I'm told to do is push. <laughs> So big opportunity now for for Chiefs off this off this scrum. Looks like Gabby Cantorn is ready to carry hard into the centre, don't you, Marin? Looks like it. Looks like she's waiting for the ball to come to her she hands. She is raring to go. Oh, unfortunate there from the back of the scrum. Not an easy place to be in, but Kate's done well to keep hold of the ball there. Looks like we need to sort that breakdown there, but that's a difficult position to be in when the eights had to pick it off the ground and we're going backwards. It's never an easy, easy breakdown to win. 
If you were a forward man, which position would you want to be? Oh, that's a good question. Well, I did actually play flanker once at did college, you? so... Wow, how did that go? <laughs> Shout out to Kimbers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's actually quite fun. Yeah? Get your hands it's on the a, ball a lot. A lot of contact, which... A lot of breakdowns, yeah. yeah. You like breakdowns, though. Yeah, I don't As mind Susie a breakdown. As you all know, the back three love breakdowns. Hopefully you hear that, Susie. <laughs> So Wasp line out, looks like they've gone to take it, take it quick, try and catch uh, the Chiefs off guard. They've done well to keep hold of the ball. Great carry, I think that's from uh, Boatman. Yeah, I would sure say so. Was. It's hard to see from right up the top here in our scaffolding. Looks like Wasp are looking to go a bit wider. Chiefs deal with it well. Sachi with the chop tackle. Great inside ball from, from Hannah Edwards there to Harriet Miller Mills running threat um, all around the pitch. I think in this kind of area it's really important that we try and have as many people on feet as possible otherwise these things are going to happen. Oh, we're really fortunate there. It looks like it was maybe a forward pass or foot was in touch. Foot in touch there by Claudia I think mm. um, but great break down the wing. In these kind of areas, you just want as many people on feet as possible in your to, to manage those kind of wasps carrying off low threats. So just leave the breakdown, get man on, get men on feet, um, and apply that pressure um, to those kind of runners that, that wasps have got in their in their squad. So Chiefs have opted for a five-man line-out. Hasn't quite worked out. Really good pickup on the tail of the line-out from Wasp, but looks like it's another drop, and it looks like it's going to be Chiefs ball. Only got one in the backfield and Abidal's dropping now, so it looks like they're going to put their process in for a kick. Crunching hits again by Wasps. Same thing again, Wasps are dropping four into the backfield, leaving loads of open space in that front line, but looks like it was just a little knock on there, so we're going back for the scrum to Chiefs. Another scrum. Another scrum. <laughs> I think I've forgotten just how hard it is to play games with scrums now. Yeah. Free kicks was hard last year, but it's so much is different just as well. Else. It just takes the legs out of you. And a different flow of the game too. Mm. Definitely a different ball and play time now. Pick there from Kate Zachary off the back of the scrum. Great making great Maze. yards. And great support play from Maisie Anna, one of our young guns in the squad. It's been lovely to see oh, her run out. How unfortunate. Oh, unlucky there from Flo. Looks like that was a knock on and then an offside. Wasps looking like they're trying to make a decision on, on what they're going to do now. Will they go for posts? Yeah, looking like they're going to post. Get some first points on the board. Yeah, there haven't been any points yet, have there? No. I think it's been quite equal-sided so far. Yeah, definitely. Both teams are really, really going it's been at great it. great to see. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see as we go through these 20-minute blocks the changes that are made and the, the difference that makes to the flow of the game, especially, I think, for us as a chief side. We've got some really exciting players coming off the bench, people like Brooke Bradley coming from Worcester. Um, we've got some, some newcomers like Char uh, Charlie Willett. She came from Wasps and Richmond, I think, previously. Yep. Millie Whitehouse, one of the ex-university players, and Nancy McGilvery. So some really exciting players coming up. Oh, and Lizzie, Lizzie Hanlon, one of our, our other university players. So really exciting times ahead for, for Chiefs with the depth that we've got um, going into this, this new season. Hopefully you see them get some game time, which will, which will be good for both them and us to see see how well we how well we can fare this this season. So it's a it's a Chiefs kickoff. Looks like it's Flo Robinson, Flo Robinson taking the kick. If some of you can't hear, we definitely have Wasp supporters behind us yeah. <laughs> who are enjoying the game. Think they'll be pleased with that with that penalty kick. <laughs> It's actually really hard to hear with the crowd, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Big 
carry from Karis Williams, who originally was at Loughborough, I think, and she's come across to Wasps, I think, last year. Um, but great carry from her. She's done a little bit of sevens, but great to see her back in 15s and, and carrying hard from Liv, and, and then and a counter to be really from Flo. influential for the Wasps oh, team. Oh, Flo on the ball. Nice. Great dummy, and then off to the ball now. Great work from Caitlin and great offload to Kanako, who's really strong in the contact area. Great work from her. Looks like Wasp put that breakdown under pressure, but we've managed to retain ball. Big carry up the centre for Clara Nielsen with great support from Bimba in the clear. Looks like they're putting Pat under lots of pressure at the breakdown. Looks like she's flying around there. Oh, they're coming back from the penalty. Tackling off the ball, I think. That's the thing with a player like that, isn't it? You just can't give her the space around the breakdown to snipe and put no. the defensive line under pressure. So looks like Wasp has identified that as a threat and are really trying to put her under pressure with her delivery. Here comes Brooke Bradley, so one of our newcomers this year, really exciting player. Um, she was at Worcester beforehand, um, and I think Bristol Bears actually before that, but she's at Chiefs now, and hopefully that's her, her staying, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully she's, she's Interesting found to see how now. she does. Um, I think she'll be very exciting to watch. So fielded by Jess Cooksey, who pins up in the air, straight down the middle of the pitch, which has been fielded well. It's really on for us to play now, but we've seen space in behind from Gabby Cantona. Great kick, dribbles into touch. Really good stuff. Looks like it's going to be a wasp line out just on the five. What a difficult position to be in. So it's a wasp's line out. I'd imagine we're going to see their kind of exit plan now, Merrin. Looks like we've got a Chiefs and Wasp yeah. battle going on here with our Oggy 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 Cubs. I think Wasps are winning it, but Chiefs have yeah. just got a little bit louder. Seems so. like the right-hand side of the grandstand must be wasps. quite a lot of Wasps. Yeah, and the left hand is Chiefs. <laughs> Great pressure at the line out there from, from Ebony Jeffries, and it looks like it's fumbled. Looks like it's going to be a Wasps um, throw it again. It's hard to see the side of the stand, yeah. isn't it? Really? So still, still a Wasps line out. Looks like maybe they're changing their mind about what line out they're going to run. Looks like maybe they're going to move into a to a six man line out. And imagine they're going to prepare to drive. Something that Chiefs have been working on is their mall defence um, in the beginning of the week. So, oh, well, that wasn't a great example of it, but I'm sure it'll be better later on. <laughs> Taken there by Harriet Miller Mills and fed back for potentially an exit. Difficult kick there with lots of pressure from the Chiefs. So we're now in the middle of the pitch. Janine Duncan on ball. Do not give her any space. She's so fast off the ball. Great footwork from Gabby and manages to get the ball away. Now we see Kanako on the ball. Dekka running down the wing. Like Poppy said earlier, great in the contact area. Good carry from Maisie, just showing her little footwork there just to gain that extra metre. Looks like Wasp was trying to have a pop at the breakdown there, but just unlucky. Looks like Chiefs are just starting to swing side to side. They need to gather themselves here and get back to that structure that we know so well. Once again, great hit there by Harriet Miller Mills. Great read from Wasp, but it looks like it's going to be a penalty to the Chiefs. We all know what the Chiefs do here. We'd love to get Sachi on the ball. I think it's Sachi's favourite thing to do is carry hard into contact, isn't it? But it looks like we're going to go for the corner. Let's see what this driving line out is like, Marine. Oh, yeah. Great kick there from Gabby. Clear the lines and we'll build from here. The Chiefs have made the call. Looks like it's still a five man line out, but it looks like Kate's there and so she's potentially going to be a drive. Unfortunate there, really needed to win that line out, but 
going to put pressure back on Wasp, put them under loads of pressure to exit. Um, and it looks like it's going to be a Wasp scrum. Scrum down, wasps ball. Looks like there's a real contest on both sides there, but wasps have done well to keep hold of the ball. And a big strong carry from Harry from Harry 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 put them in a really good position to get their exit plan in place. Chiefs, you can see, are now starting to drop back into the backfield to manage that, that box kick. Good take from Brooke Bradley. And we'll see the Chiefs pull it wide. You can see what Chiefs are trying to do there. They're trying to keep the ball moving and change the change the threat. But it's a great pick up from from Wasps through the breakdown there. And Abby Dow uh. That's the thing you just cannot afford to give Abby Dow space, and she will there easily on her own has just made 20, 30 meters. Definitely one of the most exciting players coming through the Premiership at the moment. So great work from Chiefs to get the penalty. I can't really see what that was for, but it looked like a bit of a messy breakdown, didn't it? Man? Yeah. But great work. I think we're going to see a lot of that in this game, back and forth, back and forth. Yes, definitely. Especially as there's gaps start to open up in defence and people get tired. But as long as we relieve this pressure now, then we'll be in a good place. Yeah, great work from Chiefs to get back and defend that ball after, like you said, a very threatening Abby Dow in a lot of space. <laughs> I'm going to place a bet. It's going to be another five-man line-out. <laughs> Looks like both teams are going to be sticking with their five-man line-outs, get some forward runners out off the line-out, put them under some, put that uh, defensive line under some pressure. Sees forwards like being us out with us backs here. Yeah. <laughs> you won't find me there, that's for sure. <laughs> Looks like the line just needs a little bit of fine-tuning timing and nothing else other than that, but Chiefs have still got the ball, so opt for a quick tap. Wasps are working hard to get back in defence, so really good option from Brooke. Loads of space for Chiefs to attack into, so let's make sure they, they keep balling. Unfortunate for there from Kaneko. Great work to get back into defence from Flo. She's a hardy tackler, isn't she, Flo? Oh, yeah. For one of the smaller players, she's, she, she tackles she like she's a, a good lot bigger. Hit, yeah. <laughs> oh. I think that Wasps player thought she was through then. Yeah. <laughs> Refs pulled her back. Good vision. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate for her. So it is another scrum. I'm not gonna can't think I'm gonna say it, but I think I want a bit of free kick back. <laughs> All these scrums. If it had to be a free kick for something, you couldn't do a knock on. Could you? Because it would be No. What could it be though? What are the <laughs> It does show how many knock ons there are on again. Yeah. <laughs> so it's scrum down wasps. So not in that 50-22 opportunity here because they're outside of their half for anyone that's learning about these new rules that have come in for this season. Um, but nevertheless, a really good attacking position for them. Got both sides as an option. They've got a great shove there on. Chiefs are trying to hold their own. Those back row need to make sure they scrummage though. So it looks like they're trying this crazy little move again and hasn't come off again, but um, looks like if they get it right, that could be lethal, couldn't it, Marin? Yeah, two, two players coming around the corner. Um, and it looks like you can pick off either one. So, like you said, that could be a crucial move for them. Mm. Um, hopefully, well, not hopeful for us, but um, it would be nice to see them pull that one off. Yeah, um, maybe against another team. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> not us. Maybe another day. I think Wasps will always be one of our toughest games. They play quite similar to us. I think that kind of like direct rugby especially when it comes to playing in the 22. So when we played them last year, both fixtures were brutal fixtures, weren't they, Marin? Like right down to the wire in terms of who was going to come away with the W. So it'd be interesting to see how we fare against them this season. Yeah, definitely. Messier scrum. Um, but we've and managed Brooke to keep under hold of the ball. of pressure at the back yeah, of the scrum, is. but she's dealt with that very well. This is when the forwards need to work really hard to get back into shape and, and offer something here. 
big carry from Ebony and great clear out there from I think that was Maisie and Abby Abby Fleming can um Sachi and Abby Fleming great work from them just losing numbers on feet a little bit here for us overloading the breakdowns or kind of sticking on the short side we just need to hunt for work here Great pick off there from Canago to put Linda in a little bit of space, gets on that front foot. Great float ball as well from Marin there to find Caitlin, who's, as we know, lethal on the ball already. Looks like it's a penalty advantage to Chiefs. Looks like we've got some shape back here now, so it'd be, oh, and commentator's curse. <laughs> As some of you will know, some of you won't, you're not actually allowed to kick the ball through a breakdown now. It used to be a rule that you were allowed to actually, but I think because of um, uh, because of like head injuries and things like that, they and it, well, just general injuries at the breakdown, they've taken that out. So you will get penalised if you kick the ball through the breakdown now. It's a rule that's been in for a while, but it's definitely one that catches you off guard sometimes when you can see that ball rolling around and all you want to <laughs> do is, is push it through and try and get that ball back. So it's a Chiefs line out. Just outside the 22, it'll be yeah. interesting to see what they do with this. Um, whether, again, they'll use our Looks forward like runners great, out there. Great work from Abby Fleming there to just pick off that Wasps aren't ready and just take that tempo ball, take that space. Really great work from her. Great line from Kate Zachary, who's found loads of space. She's got Kaneko in support, but she just doesn't decide to use her. But Kaneko does it herself. Kaneko and Kate. What a work, man. What a try that was. Well done. Oh, that will feel amazing for her, won't it? Just having come here from Japan. That must feel like a big moment. And the crowd here, I don't know whether you can hear it, but we certainly can't even hear ourselves. No. Um, so they're happy with that one. I'm sure the Great Chiefs will be too. Kaneko. First try of the 2021 season. It's great that it's Kaneko that gets to get away with it. I'm sure she's down there smiling like she normally is. Yeah, always smiling. And great work from Kate there as well. That's something that Kate offers is that ability to pick space in those wide channels, isn't yeah. it? So and then have that offload game as well. Yeah, that's where she where she's a real threat. So great to see those two linking up really well. And now pressure on Gabby to make sure she gets the kick. Gabby, if you watch this back, no pressure. <laughs> oh, she's got it in her. I think Gabby spends most of her time goal kicking, so yeah, one of her favorite things to do. With the help of Gareth Seenson, who's been a massive help to her, I think, yeah. so. So if she gets this, it's all down to Stina, right? Great she work. Got it. Great work from Gabby, which really puts Chiefs on the board. Looks like that's the end of the second 20 minutes. Yeah. Well, that's the second 20-minute block done, so it'll be interesting to see what changes get made for the next uh, for the next 20-minute block. Great start so far. Yeah, both teams going in now for a bit of a halftime. Um, but so yeah, we'll see like you after said, the break. Yeah.
so we're back for the third 20 minutes of our four 20 minute blocks and it looks like the Chiefs have made a few changes so we've got Charlie Willett who has come on uh, at back row uh, number 19 Linda, I, I would number say 19, yeah. and then Charlie Woodman who has come on at in the back three she's number 23 um, two Charlies at the club yep kind of <laughs> nicknames we're going to have to think of to make sure we remember which Charlie's which I think I'd personally and both Charlie down. W as well both Charlie W yeah so um, but both fit into the club really well and be great to see them get some game time today Abby Dow kicks us off here for the second great take from, from Kate last time we played Boss they kicked it to her she ran about 80 metres in the yeah. pitch so they probably thought don't kick it to Kate great steaming carry from, from Sachi to get us underway Canico, the try scoring machine, okay, is on the ball. Good carry from Charlie to start with, with the support of Sachi. Good great snipe work. from Brooke. Great work from Brooke there to pick up a short side, but a good defensive tackle from, from the Wasp side. Who do you think that, who was that? Can we see? I think that was, um, I think that was Ellie Boatman. Yeah, the number 13, Ellie Boatman. She's been strong defensively so far for Wasps. Just like looks like Chiefs are losing their way a little bit there. Just need to make sure we're not overloading that breakdown and kind of working around the corner so we can really get to width when we can. But it's Chiefs penalty in the middle of the pitch. Not rolling away in the tackle from Jess Coxey, so it looks like it's going to be um, a scrum down for the Chiefs side. So this is where we might see the first 50-22 rule, Marin. So yeah. we'll repeat it again for anyone that doesn't know. So new rule this year. So if you have a scrum in your half and you kick the ball and it enters your 22, the opposition's 22 and rolls out, you get to have a line out from where the ball rolled out. Yeah. Previously, not just a scrum. Just in not just a scrum, a line out. So previously it would have been if you kicked it out, it would have been the opposition's line out. So it looks yeah. like we're trying to implement a little bit more kicking for territory a bit more set piece in that area and it can be that you can gain territory through that but also opening up there. opening up the um, field as well for yeah, running 100%. opportunity so it'd be interesting to see whether like I said the field opens up for running opportunity or whether yeah, that kick yeah. is on because you've got to manage a centre field scrum with well two in the backfield and four up front of the new, which is a really difficult position to be in defensively so looks like Wasps have gone to have two in the backfield managing each kind of 15 metre channel with that 50-22 rule so it's these four backs that are left in the front line to deal with the with the uh, with the running game if that's what Chiefs decide to go for. What do you think we'll do, Marin? Depends whether they're feeling confident to try that one out. Or I think we'll run it. I think we'll run it. Gabby looking very keen for the ball there. Yeah, so I think they're going to run it. Also depends what kind of scrum you put, isn't it? Have you got front foot to kick off? Are you going to have to play it because you've not got that ability, not got that front foot at all? Great carry from Kate. Everyone fell for the dummy then, even us <laughs> up here in commentary. So well done, Kate. I think Chiefs are going to be... Oh, unfortunate drop there. Looks like it was just a little bit of a sluggish nine pass, but looks like it's going to be Wasp's scrum. Just coming out after that break, isn't it, Mary? Sometimes the first couple of minutes after a stoppage, you see teams just need to take a few minutes to get back into the swing of things. Yeah, get used Not to that it that's again. A good thing, but no. <laughs> but it's normal, isn't it? Quite, quite common. You see that in different teams. And now the tables have turned. Now Wasps have got an opportunity for this 50-22, or whether they'll use this backline to get try and get out the pitch. We see a number of um, changes in the in the back back line here um, with Claudia stepping in at ten. Yeah. Claudia's done all the positions. I think now she does back three, a little bit of nine, a little bit of ten. So definitely a versatile back. Looks like they've got their replace, replacement line from the previous 20-minute block on the wing as well. So it looks like maybe Wasps are really trying to try out several different combinations. Looks like they're going for that 50-22 for that uh, more that we just spoke about. Just going to fall short. Caitlin does really well to pick up that ball and with support from Liv, it looks like Chiefs are in that attacking mindset. Um, and with a penalty at the breakdown. Looks like it wasn't for rolling away. Always a tricky one when someone gets on ball and someone doesn't roll away. But it's going to be a Chiefs penalty, and I think we're going to be kicking for territory here. And then I reckon a five-man lineup, Marin. Do you reckon? Do you reckon? <laughs> Good kick from Gabby. Relieve a little bit of that pressure being in our own half, and now it's all to play for, really. I can't see many changes in the in the pack for for Wasps. Um, 
looks like they've got two two strong runners off in, in the backfield. Unfortunate drop of the lineup, but it's a penalty to Chiefs, so more pressure taken off from the Chiefs pack um, and time for us to kick for some more territory. I reckon we're going to see a lot of changes in this last 20. Oh dear, has that gone dead? Yeah, unfortunate there for Gabs. I think that might bag, bug Gabby now for the next season. She's yeah, probably this season. She gets yeah. in her head and it'll bug her. Gabby, don't worry. We'll make mistakes. You've got this. You've got this. Focus on the next thing. It looks I'm sure like there'll be, be plenty um, more beautiful kicks. It looks like it's going to be a scrum to Wasps from where it's kicks from. Um, and it just gives us an opportunity to scrum down and, and put their front row under pressure. So another 50-22 example we might see here. Looks like Chiefs have just opted to have one in the backfield. So might be space for, for the Wasps to exploit that. But we'll see what they do. First things first is scrum, isn't it, Marin? Always. Oh, yeah. I can imagine Sachi is loving this. <laughs> I think Sachi is one of the hardest people to scrum against because she is so small and, and strong. <laughs> yeah, small and strong. So it looks like they want to send Abby Dow up through the middle, but but it's no battle for Kaneko, who there, um, who who stopped Abby Dow on her tracks there. Looks like Wasp was trying to play a bit of this kind of expansive offload game, isn't it? We've seen quite a lot of offloads from them um, in the first two 20 minutes. So great um, double shot there from from Chiefs to stop Harriet Miller Mills. Good little dink in behind there from Abby Dow, recognising that there's space in behind. But Caitlin's worked hard to get back. She's under a lot of pressure there, but she's freed her hands up well to get the ball on the move. And we've got Sachi now at nine, who you know, probably Versatile. is a great nine as well. <laughs> Big thumping tackle again from, from, from Wasps there on Charlie, but she's, she's managed her well. We've got the ball back and we can still set up our exit plan, so still a good result there for the Chiefs. Looks like they want to get a little bit more in field, probably get that angle right for the kick. Yeah, Brooke will send them back now by the looks of it. Slowly working out the pitch. Be interesting to see now whether they play or whether they still opt for the exit. Looks like Wasps are now only dropping two into the backfield in this area. So, oh, we're dropping more again now. think we could all agree that kick chase could have been a little bit harder we've got to work hard to put loads of pressure on that catcher but Maisie Allen worked hard to take her down there and a good counter up from Kate's put Wasps under loads of pressure slowing that breakdown down gives us loads of time to get set defensively a little fumbled ball there from Wasps which means sat Wasps um, from, which means Chiefs has got the ball back um, but it looks like that could be a turn nope well done good clear out Big thumping tackle on Sachu, who's working hard to present the ball back, but that counter right there is, is not an easy one, so good work from Chiefs to keep hold of that ball. Hoping that we can now get back into some shape. That was about eight phases, so there must be some tired legs out there. Opting for the crossfield. Great pick up from Kaneko and the offload. What can't that girl do? And it's Liv Jones on the Great ball. from Liv Jones there. Excellent and try. Great and again, foot race. Panico being a big part of that, a really good Yeah, start. great offload. Feels like Chiefs were trying to be patient then, playing the phases, sucking that, that wasp defence in to open up space out wide, which they did really well. But great work from Liv Jones. She had someone on her heels then, and she chased and worked hard all the way to the try line. Great work from Liv Jones, who scored our second try of, of this um, great match against Wasps. And as you can probably hear, the crowd have gone wild again. <laughs> will also be Liv's first try in a Chiefs jersey. Yeah, it will be. First run out. Liv has fitted in so well already. She's she's one of maybe the craziest people I've ever met, isn't she, Marin? <laughs> yeah. But she's such a great um, such a great player and such a great person to have here in Chiefs. Um, so yeah, and hopefully she's hopefully she's here to stay as well. Yeah. It's good to see the support that they had around her as well. Um, I'm pretty sure yeah, she had options, Charlie, was on, she as well. Charlie was on our right-hand side running down the ring with her. So, Yeah, really good stuff. Flooding, flooding through with support. 
great kick from Gabby. Well She'll be now. much, much more pleased with that one, I reckon. Yeah. So I think the score is now, Merrin, 14-3. Is that right? 14-3. Taking your word for it. There are some other friendlies going on, um, going on today. I think we've got Bristol playing Worcester. Looks like the current score for that game at the moment is is 14-7 to Bristol Bears at half time. So it looks like that's quite a, quite a tight match as well. But back here with Chiefs, it's another kickoff for Wasps. Hitting Kate again. He does a really great job carrying up, putting us in a really good position to start getting our exit options in plan if that's what we want to play. A little forward pass there, but you can see what they're trying to do there, aren't they? Aren't yeah. they and trying to pick off that that runner coming off the line in defence and with a little jab pass. So you can see that's what, what Chiefs are trying to do now is get those jab lines in and put Wasps under a little bit of pressure defensively. Great to see so many kids today here as well, isn't it, with their families and stuff. You can see about 100 kids chomp, chomping on some chips down there and enjoying the rugby. Yeah, and obviously the um, girls that have been here on the Inner Warrior event yeah, as well. had over 100 and... Is that over 100 I think it was 100 and... 150 girls 120, morning. I think, wow, doing um, the Inner Warrior registered morning. for it. Um, it's great to see uh, the girls that aren't sadly involved today getting involved with that and helping with the coaching and just trying to show that the opportunities for women's rugby there is in the southwest and regardless of what age you are and some great talent on show oh gosh i bet great little so run from claudia mcdonald he's and she gets the offload to ellie boatman who's charging down the wing but she's stopped by flo and canico but wasps are in a really good position now to put us under some pressure Great line speed there from Charlie and Clara to put that carry under loads of pressure. But Maud's on the run, and as we know, don't give her any space. She's always going to make meters because she's got that leg drive into contact. Chiefs are working hard around the corner, getting off the line. Great line speed from Maisie there to put Wasp under pressure. You can see Wasp playing this direct game now that they're known for. Really important that we come up with line speed and put them under loads of pressure continuous line speed even when you're working hard and you're blowing out your lungs about eight phases in now for wasps and they still haven't gone very far so great defensive effort from chiefs just got to keep on it just got to keep on it for the next couple of minutes keep putting them under starve them of possession starve them of space we're seeing those double hits that um have obviously been a big big focus in training yeah 100 percent oh Great little snipe there from Claudia McDonald. She just found an inch of space and took a few metres. Oh, they're really short of the line. Looks like that's a try. That's a great try to be fair from Wasp. They played multiple phases to get themselves into that position. But fair play to Chiefs as well. They held them out, didn't they? Double yeah. shots in there. We just need to make sure we maintain that pressure when they get closer and closer and closer to our try line. A bit like you said, great work from Wasp to, to use those hard hitters and get their way down to the try line. Chiefs will be disappointed, but I'm sure their defence will come back in this next 20 minutes, strong and raring to go again. Well, we were the second most successful defensive team last year, just behind the champions, um, Harlequin. So I think it's definitely something we pride ourselves on. But that also comes with making sure you've got that mindset, doesn't it, Baron? So I know that's something that Susie and Tommy have been drilling into us this year about having that defensive mindset. Something that um, I think um, you'll see in the next next couple of minutes with you, Marin. After that one, after that try, that probably hurt quite a bit. So. Let's see how Chiefs fire up for the next couple of minutes, shall we? So miss of the conversion, which means it's currently 14-8. <laughs> Thanks to Jack down on the mic up front there that let me know what the score was, so I didn't have to do the maths. So Chiefs kick off. We're really big for contesting our kickoffs. That's something that we pride ourselves on. So we'll see who goes up to contest here. Kate Zachary, known for it, isn't she, Marin? Yeah, yeah she loves sitting under loads of pressure. She loves getting um, in the air and yeah, the kickoffs. She loves to get in the air and put that that catcher under loads of pressure. You can see she's slightly deeper, getting to that sprint onto the ball. Good take from Wasps. Great and take here from Wasps. Is Good pressure there from Satchi and Charlie. First defensive to get off the line. effort from Chiefs. 
Yeah, let's see what they're about. Good pressure on the kick there, okay, following through with Maisie and Charlie. Unlucky bounce there, got to get our hands on it. Looks like it's Claudia that's picked up. Gosh, she's been everywhere today. Great work from Claudia. And it's a penalty to Wasps. Just those small little inroads we're giving Wasps there, isn't it? Those little penalties. Um, just kind of like not coming off the line as hard as we could have that's, that's giving them that space in the game. So hopefully we'll get ease ourselves into it and Chiefs will get back to that, that mindset where we take, take everything away from Wasps. Wasps line out now just inside the 22 or just outside, sorry. I'd imagine they're also going to go for a five-man. <laughs> I might be wrong. Looks like Maud's in at hooker now. Was she not in at hooker before? At prop. She's at prop. Was she? I think. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> they did well to hold on to that then, Wasps. Looks like Wasps managed to really pull some phases together. He's loving that float ball at the moment, trying to pick off that space on the edge. Great offload as well there to put Harriet Miller Mills into some space. Chiefs need to hunt hard to get off the line. Great work from Abby Fleming there. That's definitely something that she's renowned for, is getting off the line, crunching tackles. Just got to keep that pressure on now from Chiefs, especially when we're in this area of the pitch. Great work. Unfortunately, we've got penalty against us. Looks like it's not rolling away. Looked like Wasps wanted to take the quick tap then, didn't it? But looks like maybe their, their, their teammates told her to, to wait because there's the a corner. few options here isn't there corner or they could have probably gone for posts as well so it looks like it's a line out right on the five really difficult line out to defend but no doubt Chiefs will put them under loads of pressure and it looks like Nancy is coming on at 22 now for Brooke Bradley Nancy is one of the Exeter University players that we have uh, at the uni this year. She's, she's come on a lot, hasn't she, already in the past yeah, couple definitely. of weeks. Really exciting prospect. I think we've got to see her maybe slipping at first receiver there. Ball's in Kate Zachary's hands. She's charging through. It's going to take a few people to stop her there. Great support there from Maisie, but it's a good, strong counter up from Wasp. Something, uh, something that they're known for is putting that breakdown under loads of pressure. What we want to see from Chiefs now is they just take their time to get set for their exit. We don't need to rush when we're in this position on the pitch. Opted for a different exit option there just to kick off Gabby. Looks like they just want to relieve that pressure, but it's gone straight out. Sadly, we were outside the 22 and it's pulled back in, so it looks like it's going to be a Wasps line out in the middle of the 22. Unfortunate there, isn't that, Marin? Um, but no doubt the line out's been put under loads of pressure by the Chiefs, so hopefully we manage to keep that pressure on. Another change coming in, another ex University player, Jess Thomas coming on at front row. It looks like she's coming on for... Oh, no, she's not coming oh. on. Slight. Like Waiting for the early, next stoppage, I, think, I can premature. imagine. Yeah, making a change at this point, at this line out, so a lot of pressure for a front row, so probably waiting for that next stoppage. Oh, no, the change is happening. No, the change is being made. Jess, come back. <laughs> Here she comes. She's doing shows. <laughs> Second <going> time, lucky. <laughs> so making a change with Bimbo, one of our Spanish players. Bimba will be happy with that one, um, having yeah. just joined big us carries. from pre-season again, yeah, um, where she's tackles. been away with Spain. Um, and yeah, like Poppy said, big carries, which is what she's all about. So that's a fumble of the ball there from, from Woff, so it looks like it's back in Chief's hands. Jess has got her hands straight on the ball already. Big tackle, big, um, big carry there from Jess. Great start from her. Just get her hands on the ball, ease herself into the game. Unfortunate line there from, from Maisie. You can see what she's trying to do, can't she? She's, she's a good player, Maisie. Just really unfortunate to get that fumble there. So another scrum, midfield, right in front of the sticks. Um, and it looks like it's a, it's a Chiefs ball. I think it should be a Wasps ball, no? Didn't we just drop it? I don't, I don't know what happened in the phase before, but he's definitely called something. Yeah, we'll take it. That's a big scrum from Wasps, putting our front row under loads of pressure. And they managed to turn that over. Oh, unfortunate there. 
really unfortunate from Maisie there. It was a really good scrum from Wasps, to be fair. They put us under loads of pressure. Scramble D now from, from Chiefs. They've got to work hard to get their defensive line set, especially with that quick tap from Claudia McDonald. She's really good at that and recognising when that's on. There's Maud again with one of her signature carries. Yeah. Strong leg drive. Wasps are putting Chiefs under loads of pressure with that direct rugby that we know that they love to play. Just got to keep working defensively. Loads of line speed, connected line speed as well. Get our spacings right, get off the line. Forcing those errors like we've just seen, but it went backwards, so it's play on for Wasps, but they have been driven back a fair few metres. Good carry from Maud there, really punching up, putting Sachi and Abby under loads of pressure. Looks like that was a head knock in that tackle. Hopefully Brooke's okay. Or maybe it was Charlie. I do apologise if we get any names <laughs> wrong. It's really hard to see from the balcony. Jess Cooksey there's gone wide. Um, will they be looking to move it to her to try in the corner? But looks like they're still continuing with their upfront rugby for now. You can see the difference there when you've got someone making that chop tackle to stop their legs from driving. We haven't had that in every phase, so you can see the difference in that one. When Sachi gets nice and low, she stops that ball carrier driving their legs through. Just need to keep that on. Those shots high aren't going to get us anywhere. Looks like they're over the try and that is a try to Wasps. Really strong effort from Chiefs in defence, but Wasps were so direct, we just, we just fell short. But really good um, try from Wasps. Number five. Number five. Who is number five? I'm going to go back to my Wasps team sheet so we can shout them out. Christina Balogun. Balogun. I'm sorry if I've said that wrong, Balogun. Christina. But yeah. great try. Um, oh, yeah, of course, Harris. Really favorite. good try. And that, to be honest, just epitomizes really, isn't it, what Wasps are like? That yeah. direct rugby. So great direct rugby. Puts defences under so much stress. Because you can see they get that latch on, don't they, early, man? Yeah. They've got that carrier. They nominate early and they just drive through the contact. So we just need to get a bit more sand defensing and have that chop tackler if we can. But hopefully this is just a little bit of a wave in the Chiefs' defence and we'll get back into it in the next couple of minutes. So it looks like that is the third 20 minutes done. So we're going to be going into our fourth 20 minutes. I think we'll probably see a fair few amount of changes now from both yeah. sides, just to really give those players on the bench an opportunity to, to show what they've got ready for the season ahead. We've still got a few girls to come off the bench for the Chiefs side. We've got Lizzie Hanlon at hooker, as well as Daisy at hooker, who can also play back row. Gabby Gower, back three, and Millie as well, centre. So we've got a few girls. So Lauren Netherland at front row as well. So a few people isn't there still going to get on. So hopefully in this last 20, they get an opportunity to, to show what they've been working on over pre-season and really put their hand up for selection coming into our first round, which is Bristol away. Yep. And it's on Saturday the 4th of September, which is really yep. exciting. Kicking September off to a good start, I hope. Yeah. And I think the RFU, from what I know, are live streaming all of the first rounds of the fixtures. So anyone that isn't able to come across to Shaftesbury Park and watch us play Bristol, then don't worry, you can watch it on the live stream and, and watch a really good front-up battle with a, with a much-changed uh, Bristol side who I'm sure will be more competitive in the league this year. Yeah, 100%.
So it looks like we're just about to kick off our final 20 minutes of this uh, pre-season friendly. Marin, what do you think we're going to see in these last 20 minutes from the Wasp side? Uh, the Wasp side, I think they'll look to keep going how they're going at the moment. So obviously what they've what they've changed um, in, in that third four, third quarter then, um, has, has really worked for them. And like you said, they're very direct in that 22. So we'll probably look to see more of that from them. Um, but what do you think about the Chiefs? Well, it looks like they've made another change. So it looks like we've got Millie Whitehouse on another uni girl that's shown a huge amount of potential as well for both Chiefs and the uni side. So it looks like she's come on. So another change in that back line might see that we see a little bit change in how we have our structures played. Um, but I think, to be honest, what probably Susie's messages are is just make sure we're, we're composed in the right areas. Yeah. When we're, when we're getting our exit plan together, make sure we, we build our, our blue kick, our box kick really well. Make sure we focus on our roles and responsibilities and not rush in that area. And then think about that chase. And when we get down into the area, let's lift the tempo. Let's become a bit more direct, but have those options to play wide. So I think it's going to be a really good last 20 minutes from Chiefs. And hopefully... We, we get some more points on the board so we can come away with the win to kind of give us that confidence going into the first round. I think we've definitely kept our eyes up for that um, wide, wider ball. Um, but like I said, what do you think Wasps will do? What's your opinion on what Wasps might do? I think, do to be honest... Do you think they'll look to go wide or...? I think their direct, their direct rugby is what's most successful for them. And you've seen them in those last two tries. It came from being direct. I think they're probably going to keep working on that kick game, put us under loads of pressure in terms of being in our own half and having to um, to get the ball away. So, I, yeah, I agree with you. I think still that direct rugby. I'd like to see a little bit more of, you know, you people like Jess Cooksey and, and stuff like that get on the ball because she's such a young, exciting player. So. so it looks like we've got Nancy in at 10 now and we've got Flo back at nine. So that's obviously Flo's first position, so it'd be great to see her back there now. Nancy's at 10 and I think from what I can tell Millie's actually moved into full back potentially so new position for her but no doubt she'll um, she'll do it really well back there any tips for any full backs out there Mary any young girls that want to play full back in the premiership get your hands on the ball as much as possible yeah. I would say I'm yeah. sure Susie will agree with that as well oh yeah <laughs> so big kick coming in from Wasps putting Millie under a little bit of pressure but she's managed that really well already Great footwork, her feet. okay, to find some space. And she's really robust in the contact, but she's just fumbled the ball there, which is really unfortunate. But good for her to get her hands on the ball to start with, isn't it, Marin? Yeah, that'll be the game first nice touch quickly. nerves out the way now. So hoping to see a lot more. Looks like Wasp have an injury her. on the far side. It looks like it could also be Claudia McDonald's. She's taken a minute to, to get herself back together. Hopefully it's nothing, and nothing um, that's going to stop her from playing on. Really good stuff from Wasp there to pick off that short side. You see Charlie shut that down that space, but we've done really well to scramble in defence and, and and keep the momentum on our on our end. Big steaming carry. Who was that? That was a really good carry from Wasps. Great line speed there from Kanako. Really unfortunate not to make that connection in that tackle, but you can see that she just wants to get in defence, doesn't she? She wants to make hits. Great double shot there from Nancy and Jess. Really good work. The, part, um, the uni, um, uni teammates working together. <laughs> Unfortunate there. That's a penalty against um, the Chiefs for a... For a um, what do you call that when they put your hand in? You know when it's... A, not a deliberate knock-on. She didn't knock it I on. I didn't but see that. <laughs> this pole is right in my vision. <laughs> So it looks like there's a few Wasp girls struggling. They've been on a, from what we hear, a military base for the past couple of days. I think it's a kind of like a team bonding thing. So I think there's a few girls out there that have had very, very little sleep this week, which will probably be having a little bit of an impact. Bearing in mind, it's also the first game of the season. So I'm sure they'll be looking forward to getting a good night's kip tonight in their beds as opposed to on the moors <laughs> in Oakhampton. Looks like Lizzie Hanlon has now gone on to the pitch, which is another one of the uni girls, um, replacing Clara Nielsen, who's just joined us from Bristol Bears, um, having been there for quite a number of years. Yeah, she was captain over at Bristol Bears, so it's a big, big move coming here, and really glad to see she's done it for herself and, and already uh, fitted into the side really well, hasn't she? Marianne? Yeah, definitely. And found her feet, so it's really great to have her, great to have her joining us here at Chiefs. But great work also to see Lizzie getting on. Um, a really, really good player that's got loads of potential, really um, raw, loves the contact. So it'll be interesting to see how she, she gets on in this Chief shirt. So time's back on. Wasps line out. Imagine they're going to be kicking for territory. Um, 
and then we'll see uh, see if they have a five man lineup. Man. <laughs> it's a good kick for territory that. Yeah, they put themselves in a really good position. They're just inside the 22, um, so big responsibility on Chiefs now to put pressure on that, that, that line out. Great work so far from Abby Fleming and, and Ebony to put loads of pressure on that in that defensive line out. Big carry here from Kay Searcy in the number seven shirt for Wasps. She's just come over from, from Sarri's actually and looks like she's fitted in really well already with the Wasp side. Another penalty to Wasps, no clear re releasing the tackle and they've decided to quick tap so Chiefs have got to be on it. Little fumble pass but it's gone backwards. Chiefs are still putting that pressure on the defence but Wasps have managed to hold on to the ball and they're driving their way back into the 22. Looks like Wasps are really trying to stay with that direct rugby, but Chiefs' line speed is putting them under a lot of pressure. It's another one of those double hits that we're seeing. And Great Abby Fleming's got on ball. Fleming. She's just picked that off so, so well. Seen the balls exposed, got her hands on it, been really effective in that position. It's really excellent work from the Welsh, um, Welsh player, Abby Fleming. Abby is also an extra through and through girl. Yeah. She's, um, she's lived here. Um, she's lived her whole life. She's gone over to Wales to do her degree, I think, and she's a physiotherapist, but she's come back now. She's actually commuting at the moment. That's how much she wants to be a chief. She's commuting every week, and um, the club wouldn't be the same without having people like Abby there. So it's great to see her putting in such a good shift uh, in, the, in the Chiefs shirt today. Lizzie lining up for her first throw. Oh, let's see how it goes. She's got really good natural darts on her. Looks like that was more of a timing issue, um, but Wasps have turned it over, and they're really carrying up the centre there, putting our back line under some pressure defensively, but they've handled it really well. Little kick in behind from Claudia. Notice there's a little bit of space. Straight out, though, from the looks of it, so it looks like we're going to be coming back to around the halfway, and it looks like it will be a Chiefs, Chiefs line out. You can see some tired bodies coming there now, can't you? Looks like Ebony Jeffries is rallying up the forwards to get there first. <laughs> I think Kaneko has got a new scrum cap this year. Uh, not Kaneko, sorry, Sachi has got a new scrum cap for this year as well. Only the best wear scrum outs over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so not straight at the line out. I reckon that was the win. Don't you, Marin? Yeah. 100%. So it looks like it's going to be a scrum down to us. So they're out of their half, so we won't won't be seeing of the any 50-22 rule. Um, but difficult scrummaging to position to be in really here, isn't it, Marion? You've only really got one option, so it'd be yeah. interesting to see what Wasps do here. Just a Wasp player down on their knee, waiting, awaiting medical attention, I would say, at the moment. Wasps are calling their physio over. I don't think they've seen they've got a player down. Here they come. I think there's going to be a real big competitive strive in the league this year, don't you, Marion? With teams like Worcester and doing some really good recruitment, they've just signed the Japanese 10 yeah. and the Irish 10 actually as well, haven't they? Yeah. Um, as well as some other really strong players, I think they're going to really start challenging that top four position. And you've still got you know your teams like Loughborough, Quinn. I think the league will definitely Saris. be very close this year. And even Sale, they've done some really good yeah. job with their recruitment as well. Really competitive side bitter game for us to finish on last yeah. year losing to Sale so I'm sure that will be uh, a really feisty game when we get to play them away again um, but really great to see that the league is just coming, becoming more competitive isn't it across yeah. the board from, and from across international all the teams. players wanting to come here and play top yeah. level rugby yeah 100% I mean we've got internationals overseas players across the board here you know we've got Japanese we've got USA Netherlands got, uh, Netherlands yeah um, and and Canadian. we've still got Canadians yet to come <laughs> yeah. here away at camp at the moment. So um, great to see overseas players wanting to come and be in a competitive league. So it's a scrum down, it's a Wasps ball. Big shove from, uh, from the Chiefs. Really good stuff, putting Wasps under some pressure, but they have managed to keep hold of the ball. Kicking it right down the throat of Millie Whitehouse, who's fielded it really well. She's going to have a run. Big strong carry. Great support from, uh, from Kate there at the breakdown. 
and Chiefs are now in a really good position to start building up their exit plan. Just being patient, taking their time, eyes up about who's dropping into the backfield, just keeping an eye on what options are on. Big crunching tackle there from Moss, but Charlie under loads of pressure. But Chiefs have managed to keep hold of the ball, and that breakdown is most certainly a mess, but <laughs> it looks like it's building back up for a box kick. Um, See again, Ross have already dropped in the backfield. It's so on to play. I'm surprised Chiefs haven't had a look at that option with about four or five in the backfield in that opportunity. Um, the ball, but back by Kate really good tackle. Um, and Ross still looking to play quickly. Yeah, Chiefs are set in defence, thankfully, which has put Wasp in the loads of pressure and attack. Nice little backward somersault there from Maisie, who's having a little jab at the breakdown. Great line speed from Nancy there as well. Such a young player, isn't it? Really good to see her getting stuck in. Little inside ball. Just need to see connection now in the Chiefs' defensive line. Those little, those little picks through the middle of the breakdown is being really effective at the moment for the Wasps team. Great work there from Millie to stay in that tackle, but really good offload means Wasps are under the sticks um, for another try in the corner. I think Chiefs just need to take a moment to just gather themselves and kind yeah. of really think about that exit plan. You can see the numbers that Wasps are dropping into the backfield. At that point, they had five. Let's just have a look at what's on. Yeah, definitely. You know, we actually can still play that ball. We don't necessarily have to kick it away. So I'd imagine that would be Susie screaming on the sideline about <laughs> having a look at it when it's on to run it. I'm sure after they've gathered themselves, they'll come back out fighting. So this, this next passage of play will be really interesting. Looks like we've got Charlie down at the moment. He's receiving some treatment. Hopefully it's nothing, uh, nothing too serious. Charlie's back on her feet, which is really good to see. Um, I'd imagine Kate is giving them a real good captain's team talk under the post, Sophie <laughs> Merrin. That's one thing that's really great about Kate with her communication and her leadership, isn't it, Marion? She's just really calm and patient all the time. She's got so much experience, both on an international stage as well as um, playing for club and playing in the Premiership now. So really good natural leader um, and a great, a great player for many young players to look up to um, who want to aspire to be a back row or a 13, if they fancy yeah. dabbling in the 13 oh, shirt. So any other got any position, though, to be honest. Um, so Wasps have taken the lead, um, so hopefully Chiefs can start to bring it back with the last maybe 8 or 12 minutes, 8 to 12 minutes left of this, uh, this final block of 20 minutes. The Wasp supporters are really giving it some behind us, so yeah. we need those Chiefs fans to start screaming for us. Although I can hear the Tomahawk shop, so we are matching it. <laughs> So ball is in Wasp's hand. They're looking to exit, relieve that pressure. Oh, unfortunate from Millie, really unfortunate. She's just got herself really front onto the ball there. I'm sure it's just a one-off error that we won't see again, but, but straight back into defense from the Chiefs. Really need that line speed there and that, that, that position. At the moment. That ball coming now to Jess Cooksey. Great support there from the Wasp, but really good pick up from Maisie, who's managed to actually offload it on the ground there to Kanako, who was there in support. Really thankful that that came off, because Wasps were in a really strong position then. Crunching tackle from Wasp, but Chiefs still do have the ball, and they really, uh, really need to build their, their exit now, but the Wasps have put a huge amount of pressure on that breakdown, but conceded a penalty in doing so. So thank thankfully for Chiefs, they can they can kick to the corner and hopefully, kick to, kick to touch and hopefully get in a better attacking position. Long kick, great kick from Gabby. In a really good position now, aren't we, Marion, to get yep. some front foot ball here from attack. I'd imagine um, it'll be another five-man line out off the top to really use those forwards and those options in the in the in the wide channels out out there. Really good read from Ross there at that line out, which is really unfortunate, but. Um, 
hopefully Chiefs are going to get it back with some really good efforts in defence. Really need a double shot there in defence. With those players like Maud, like we've said before, isn't it, Merrin? It's really important to, to get that connection in defence and put them under loads of pressure um, in that carry area. Also, have really brought that offload game, which has caused some trouble for the Chiefs at the moment, but that's hoping that we can get back to those double shots. Great double shot there, really putting Rowe under pressure. She's really done well to get that leg drive in with support from, looks like Heather Kerr maybe in. Oh, a little bit of feistiness going on there. Oh, Flo is a feisty one, so you've got to watch Apparently, out for Apparently, yeah. Yeah, but um, the scrap is over uh, and both are back in the field ready to play. Heather Kerr's on the ball there. She's a big, strong carrier, Heather Kerr. She's been in the England system for a fair while. Really unfortunate to have pick up an injury recently. Um, but she's back, back there. Foot goes into touch. I think it's um, potentially Ellie Boatman there. So it looks like it's going to be a Chiefs line out in the 22. That was a hard string of phases, wasn't it, Marion, in defence? Yeah. So, Marion, how have you found your first time commentating? You were nervous oh, before, weren't you? <laughs> you enjoyed it. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Uh, still a bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and we're most of the way through the game, so. <laughs> Hopefully, most of the fans have come to watch today, so there's only a few yeah. watching live stream. <laughs> I think we've done quite well, seeing as we've just been flung in here on our own. <laughs> Picked up the mic normally and we've started got someone, talking. Normally we've got someone helping us, or at least yeah. making sure we don't say anything that we shouldn't. But Harry. <laughs> Harry, yeah, Harry Scott Monroe out there. If you're listening to this, Harry, thanks for leaving us on our own. <laughs> we need you back. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like it's a Wasp scrum uh, in Chiefs 22. Big moment here for Chiefs to, to have a strong defensive scrum. Um, no doubt they will. Ooh. And it's a penalty to Chiefs. I saw Maisie Allen getting real into that one then. She was really pleased with that result. So it's it's a penalty to us. Really good scrum. Looks like um, the the uh, opposition's loose head uh, lost their feet. So really good opposition, uh, opportunity for us to gain some territory back and relieve that pressure that Wasps put on us after those those uh, phases of the phases of attack. Good kick again great by to, Gabby. Great to hear the crowd cheering us on, isn't it, Marin? Yeah, I'm sure the players on pitch are loving it at the moment. 100%. It's even nice to be able to have huddles now this year with lineups. Yeah. Last year, because of COVID, we weren't even allowed to huddle up. Yeah. So it really changed the tactics in terms of lineups. So huddles are back now, um, but I'm sure Chiefs have, have made a really good call for this one. Great pick off there from Abby Fleming. She did really well to hold on to that ball. Slight fumble, Kate's managed to hold on to it. It did go backwards, so it's still Chiefs' ball. Just think that was more of a timing issue. Then. Oh, look, Daisy's on. Daisy's Great on. Okay, Daisy, Daisy French is on. Our cheese maker in the team. <laughs> Fellow farmer. Fellow farmer, yep. Young farmer's friends, are you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Great to see that Daisy's got some game time. Um, she's, she's flipped between back row and front row, hasn't she, for us last year. So I think she's still trying to really cement herself in her position. Great carry from Jess Thomas there. She didn't accept, didn't accept the tackle, fought through. Um, and we put that kick in behind. Fielded really well from Wasps. Interesting decision from Chiefs there, but we've worked really hard in defence there to put her, um, Hannah Edwards under loads of pressure. You can see already that defensive line is set from Chiefs, ready to get off the line and make tackles. This is the Chiefs that we want to see, hungry for defence. Looks like Wasps like to play the short side a lot. They like to see if they can catch out those lazy defenders, but Chiefs have managed that really well um, and stopped them from making any momentum. Another double shot going in there. Just want to start seeing us drive them back, into, uh, driving them back in attack. Just like that. It's like Kate heard us speaking about it. Yeah. Great tackle from, Can um, from Sachi and Kate. Really good tackle. Driving Ro Burnfield back, who um, has must have played at least 200 Premiership games now, m probably even more, um, who's got a huge amount of experience. 
Great yeah, denouncing great from Kate Force in that turn. And that's what you want, isn't it, Marin, from your back row players, is that yeah. are all players that they want, to, they want to hunt for the ball. And I don't know whether you can hear on the live stream, but the, the crowd are going wild. They're all getting behind Chiefs here. Last few minutes of the game and she's still putting her body on the line. Another change coming in for us. Gabby Gowers coming on for Liv Jones. Gabby Gowers, one of our apprentice players, wasn't she, last year, Marin? She's come through the yeah. Exeter College system. Um, and actually, she, she made her prem debut, didn't she, last year, which yeah. is really pleasing to see. Great little player. You've played with her for quite a long time, haven't you, Marin? Yeah, I've played with her for years. Um, but yeah, like you said, she always wants to get on the pitch and front up, so I'm sure she's a little bit nervous, but she'll do Ready fabulous. It's great that we have the, the link with the Exeter College here, um, here down in the southwest. They've, they've built the academy from nothing to a really strong group of players who all want to aspire to play in the Premiership, which is really fantastic to see. Um, Especially Gabby, with Gabby. Gabby. And she's constantly asking questions um, of me on how she can better herself. So I think that's always a great trait to have. And it's lovely oh, to see her getting on the pitch now. Yeah, 100%. I think we've got, so we've got you that came from the academy, Gabby, Ebony Jeffries, anyone? Charlie Budge, who was with us Charlie last Budge, season. Charlie Budge, who was with us last season, 100% Charlie Budge. So there's a few that are coming through the Exeter College, um, Exeter College Academy, which is just shows the, how professional... Jess Thomas. The, Jess Thomas as well. Just shows how professional that academy setup is and how it gives them that platform. When they come into that premiership environment, they can thrive. And of course the uni too. And the uni, yeah. <laughs> Of course the uni, Marin. from there from Woffs to put Jess Thomas under a lot of pressure and it looks like it's going to be a penalty to Woffs at yeah, a pinnacle moment really in this last 20 minutes but no doubt um, Chiefs aren't going to let um, let Wasps gain any inroad we've also that is a good point we should really mention the new because you're a uni player aren't you at the moment Marin how yeah. are you finding uni and Chiefs um, obviously last season it was quite hard because um, we weren't actually in uni um, and we were constant. Well, we were just in our houses then, um, doing all our uni work. So I guess it was hard in that sense, but also it made it easier to make sure I'm at training on time. And and I didn't have that pressure of coming straight from a uni lecture to rugby because I could sort of work around my day a little bit um, yeah. better. But um, obviously it was a bit tough um, trying to fit in what I needed to do. But um, I think we, all of us girls, managed it quite well. And and Chiefs were supportive of that, so, and yeah. and yourselves at the uni, so. Yeah, we've got a few uni girls on the pitch at the moment who um, are involved in the Chiefs setup as well as uni, so it'll be really interesting to see how they get on for the year and how they manage that. Big line-out drive from the Wasps. I think this is the first kind of successful line-out drive we've really seen, but it is starting to turn on. I've just seen Lauren Leatherland has actually also just come on at front row, which is great to see. Great work from the pack there. It meant that it's actually going to be a... It's actually going to be a, uh, a chief scrum um, after they stop that mall right in its tracks. Great impact Lauren's then made, isn't she? Coming off the bench, stopping that yeah, line drive. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, using, um, using that power to, to stop, them, stop them from getting anywhere. She'll certainly so really be happy stuff. with that one. It's great to see how much it means to the players. And I think I saw Ebony Jeffries scream <laughs> for joy then. Um, so she's clearly pleased with that result as well. So it looks like it's going to be a reset scrum. This is actually our first reset scrum that we've had um, of the game, which just shows how hard the front row have been working um, to get that scrummaging stuff right. Even with it being COVID last year, scrums, scrum practice still went on. Uh, so <laughs> it never stops. But really good to see that um, the front row have been clearly working hard, on both sides working hard at any point they can to, to keep the, that scrummaging, um, scrummaging form on point. Big scrum needed here from the Chiefs to maintain possession, but Wasps have put them under loads of pressure. Ball came straight out the back of the scrum, so Gabby Gower straight on the ball. Little pump, and she's driving her legs through. Great start for Gabby Gower. Great to see her getting on the hands, uh, hands on the ball so early on. Little snipe from from Flo. She saw a little bit of space, but she she was stopped dead. But gives um, Chiefs the opportunity to um, uh, themselves a penalty. So great stuff. Kate decides to take it quick. 
running straight through the centre of the Wasp, um, the Wasp defensive line who are really scrambling to get back in defence. Big float ball from Panico. Puts Charlie Woodman in loads of space. We haven't seen her at full pace yet, but boy, is she quick. Great really cover tackle stuff. there. Daisy stepping up there to carry hard into contact. Really good stuff from her, getting her hands on the ball, carrying with intent. Little short side snipe might have been on them, but they decided to play into the open side. Really good defensive read from Ross that they put Abby Fleming in a lot of, um, put her in a lot of, um, took away a lot of her space, but she rode it well. It's great great to see Charlie from Charlie Woodman has put her in a prime position to get some ball on her hands. And Kaneko again in support. Kaneko has been everywhere today. Looks like it's another penalty advantage to Chiefs, and they're going to earn themselves a penalty. And they decide off. to take it. But it looks like the ref did, put his, um, did stop, the clock, uh, stop the clock. What would you go for here, Marin? Looks like... What's um, the score now? Yellow card has been handed. Oh, no, really? Who to? It Maud looks like Maud Mer. Yellow card. Disaster. But really good opportunity. Oh, gone for a scrum. Well, I suppose with the front row being off, maybe that's that opportunity. Yep. We've not got many front row replacements, so um, Wasps might find themselves in a real bit of trouble here. It's good to see Charlie getting her hands on ball twice there in a row. So she's looking really threatening. A, a real, she's got real pace on her. So interesting decision not to go for the line up there with um, them being a player down or even just a, a tap and go. We're really strong in that position, but no doubt the Chiefs will uh, will, will scrum really hard and, and, and earn that decision. Big scrum from the Chiefs, under loads of pressure. Looks like it's a penalty advantage to the Chiefs, which um, which I'd imagine is going to be used. Although the ref has put his hands down, so maybe maybe advantage has gone. Nope, it's back. Ebony is charging her forwards to get around her as she carries into contact. Strong carry by Abs. As usual. Good tackle from the from the Wasps side, but Chiefs are still in a really strong position to put Wasps under loads of pressure. Really great line from Maisie there. Just the whip that they've got off that, off, that nine, um, off that nine pass means we've cut out four defenders just in that one pass. That's really good stuff from the Chiefs. Stuff that we need to see for the rest of the minutes in this last 20-minute block. It Same again, like seeing that contest from Wasp, but looks like the advantage um, has been made use and it's a penalty to the Chiefs. Real big moment now as to what Chiefs decide to do. They'll be happy with that one and the, the crowd are getting behind them, so... This could be an interesting next few Jess minutes. Is on the ball. Jess has replaced Sachi's role here, so let's see how she gets on. Big carry into contact, big leg drive. She's got the support there of Abby Fleming and Daisy French. It's great to hear the crowd roaring now. I don't know if you guys can hear it on the live stream, but 4,000 voices cheering for the Chiefs is making a big difference. I don't think I can team. even hear myself think. No. <laughs> big leg drive from the Chiefs. Great stuff there. Wasps, to be fair, them doing really well in defence to stop that pick and go, which we know is really successful for the Chiefs. Another pick and go, carrying nice and wide. Great defence again, but Chiefs have still got the ball. They're getting close. They still need to carry nice and wide in those pick and goes. Don't get caught up around those thick defenders. It does look like it's on to play out wide, but, but Flo is put under loads of pressure there. Would you want the ball now, Marin, or the defence not narrow enough? I think we can narrow them up even narrow more. Narrow them up a bit more? That looked like a really dangerous tackle there. Looks like that might be a card. Looks like they just hit Maisie Allen on her head. They're going to go and speak to the touch judge. That looked like really dangerous play there. Thankfully, Maisie has rode it like a champ. She's a strong little brute, isn't she, Marin? Oh, yeah. So I'm sure she probably, probably didn't even notice that she got... Um, she looks fine. Spear she got up. Yeah. <laughs> Get up. Look at me, Maisie. Good work, Maisie. <laughs> Hear the chance coming in now. 
Looks like the Wasp player is going to get a card and it looks like it could be potentially a red. It did, uh, it's hard to see from up here, but it looks like she may have landed on her, landed on her neck. It is just a yellow though. The Wasp will be really, uh, really relieved about that. So now they're down to 13. Down to 13 players, that's two yellows, so two in the bin. So really big opportunity now for Wasps, for um, Chiefs to go for it. Really narrow now in defence. If I was a back, I would be screaming for that ball. I'm sure Gabby is screaming Loads for it. We've got about six, six backs with no one in front of them. I'd be absolutely screaming for it, but the forwards probably do not want to let go of that ball. Another penalty advantage coming in. The Chiefs have got to come away with points here. It's a, they've got to come away with points. It's into the back's hands. Going for the little grubber through. Oh, really, yes, the post. really unfortunate there. But it looks like we're going to go back for the Chiefs penalty. It's nice to see the Chiefs trying some things, though. Yeah, really good to see Chiefs trying. Looks like Lauren's got her hands up. She wants her hands on the ball. Personally, I would be tempted to go for a line out here just because they got two down. But that's maybe just because I love line outs. Great pick and go. Great defence, though, effort from Wasps. Forwards need to work into that space. Looks like we want to start attacking with a little bit more width in this area now, just like from just from what we saw from Kate there. But backs have got their hands on the ball. unfortunate result for the Chiefs there they just needed to keep the ball in the forwards for that little section little um, bit longer oh and that looks like game and that over looks like that is the game. And as you can see bodies are sore we've got to see a lot of the Wasp players they've taken their knees that must have been an absolute battle out there they have done a very good defensive effort there in the last five minutes um, but also very good from Chiefs to show that pure grit um, unfortunately they didn't come away with anything at the end there just want to say to, to everyone out there that's on the live stream and came to watch the game today, I hope we have been okay in <laughs> and imagine this will the last time we'll do it. Um, but um, no, and I just want to say a big shout out to any of those newcomers that took the, sh uh, took the field today for the Chiefs. It's really great to see so many new faces getting an opportunity to show what they've got and put their hand up for selection when it comes to the next round of the Premiership. We've I think it's looking like an interesting a season. First, first few rounds. Yeah, 100%. And We've got that pathway in place with Patricia Garcia running our CV now for Exeter, which is really fantastic. She's got loads and loads of young girls that just want to get that Chief shirt on, hasn't she, Marion? So yeah. it's definitely going to be a really exciting couple of years for the Chiefs um, and hopefully um, coming away with really good good results good for results, this 2021-2022 yeah. season. Um, I think you'll catch us more on the live stream. Um, hopefully all clubs will try to get on board. Yeah, I think most clubs are trying to live stream now, which is really good to see. So... Um, It'd so, be good to have even more supporters, yeah. um, whether it be in person or on the or live stream. On the live stream, amazing. And like we said, all the games for the first round are being streamed by the RFU, by the Allianz. Um, so if you do miss the first round of games, do not worry. You can watch it back on the live stream uh, and support women's rugby, which is one of the fastest growing sports um, in the world. So don't be shy. Get behind it. Support the women. Um, and and I think we should thank the Chiefs and Wasp supporters that have been here today at yeah, Sandy Park. They've been amazing supporters. Yeah. They've made our job even harder because we can't even hear ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure the girls are thrilled to pieces that everyone's here. So. 100%. But well done to Wasps. Really good result for them. But do not worry. When we play you uh, next time in the Premiership, we won't make it that easy for Merrin. Oh, no. <laughs> That's it from us today, guys. So hope you enjoyed the live stream. And if you didn't come and watch uh, this game in person, be, make, uh, be sure to come and watch our, our first home game, um, which is in round two. Yeah, I think it's well done to both teams and see you later. See you later, so maybe. <laughs> Bye.